Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So today's video is gonna be about 3D printing. Uh, one question I get asked a lot is how to get started in 3D printing for like transformers, accessories. And I thought I'd make a quick video, but um, the printers I recently uh, got at the beginning of the year didn't seem like a good beginner printer. Uh, one, they're kind of cost prohibited. So I thought maybe I'd go on the market and look uh, what's out there in terms of entry level 3D printing. And I found the Neptune 3 Pro from Ilagu. And I'm gonna give this printer a try, see how it's like. But uh, based upon the reviews I've seen and the features, I think this might be a very good beginner printer. It's roughly $230, so it's not uh, too cost prohibited uh, if you just wanna get started in 3D printing. So it just came in, it's in the box. I'm gonna unbox it, take everything out of the box, and be right back. Just cut open the tape, and this is what it looks like inside. Let's remove some of that foam. You have the user manual. A bunch of different items in here. Let's see if that comes out. Nope. This, this whole section. And come out. You have the lower part of the printer here, but uh, this is how it comes packed. I'm gonna get all these contents removed and be right back. So I got all the contents unboxed uh, for the printer. You basically have the base with uh, you have this nice magnetic uh, build sheet. You have the gantry here with the print printed. On here you have uh, the LCD or LED screen and this is basically a magnet mount for the screen comes with some tools for assembly the bolts and screws some zip ties this is I believe the filament detector switch um, some extra nozzles and the SD card micro SD card or you're gonna put the files on. This is uh, to clog, uh, to unclog no nozzles. And over here, some PLA, so you're gonna have to buy your own. A little glue stick, power cable, and the spool for the filament, along with the manual. Okay, I'm gonna get this assembled and be right back. Assembly is pretty straightforward, the gantry, just goes on the top here and then you screw it on from the bottom with the included bolts. So let me get that going. So to access the bolts on this side, you're gonna have to bring this part down a bit. And then the bolts or the can go or the screw holes you can go right underneath here. So I got the gantry on, but one thing I like to do especially since this is a new printer, is just double check the other bolts that were pre-screwed um, on just to make sure none of them are loose. Um, but yeah, because sometimes you can get a printer where for some reason they didn't screw it all the way in, in the assembly line. Next, I'm gonna attach the LCD or, yeah, I think it's LCD mount right here. It just takes three screws. So, be right back. And finally, the last piece to assemble is the spool holder, which just goes here. And the spool holder simply screws on to here, like so. And there you go. Almost forgot to install the filament detector switch, which goes over here. One thing uh, to make sure you get right is the voltage. Uh, I am in the US, so you can see here it says US or Canada, US, Japan, 100 to 120. So I'm gonna be flipping that there. Okay, right, next is to connect all the cables and there are quite a lot of them, but the instructions are pretty clear on where to connect them. So I got the printer all together, plugged in all the respective cables. Pretty much can't get them wrong because they only fit one way. 
um, like this cable here won't fit in here and these set of cables will only fit in their respective connectors as well. Uh, it's turned on, got the light on, which is kind of cool and ready to do my set print, first print. Um, I already got the filament inside and we'll take this for a little test. So I'm back here at the printer. I got my micro SD card. I'm gonna stick it in. I got a spool of yellow filament that I'm just gonna load up. So this filament is in the filament holder and I'm just gonna cut at an angle like so. I'm trying to do this with one hand. It's not ideal. And then I'm going to put this in the filament sensor. I can record it. And I got it in the filament runout sensor and I'm going to feed it in here. And what we'll do next is click load and carefully push it in while it loads. I got to click it a couple of times. You're just basically waiting until you see it come out of the nozzle. Okay, now we're starting to see it come out of the nozzle. There you go. I'm gonna stop and pull it out. So once everything is set up, you wanna level the printer. Tap level. Confirm and it will begin the leveling process. After it's, I guess, kind of centers itself, you want to press this button here. Calibrate the bed. Confirm. You can see it's going to touch um, these 36 points on the bed and it's going to have to preheat first before it uh, starts that process. When it's done leveling, you want to get a sheet of paper and slide it underneath the nozzle and adjust what they call the, v, the Z offset. So you're going to lift this up a little bit until the paper can go underneath. You can see the paper is underneath and you wanna lower it until it's slightly dragging. Just a little bit more. Still too loose here. I think this is just right. Oh, one more. See. At this point, it's very tough to remove, so I'm going to lift it a little bit to get that drag. I think that should be good. Once that's done, you can start your first test print. We're going to print the file that came with the machine, which is this Buddha. And then click confirm. It's going to heat up and start to print. It's a nice uh, quiet printer and you can see it is roughly 93% done. The whole job time is an hour and five minutes so I'll be right back. Okay so the print just finished. So this is a nice magnetic bed uh, sheet that comes with it. So you can easily take it out. You gotta wait till it cools down a bit. Um, it's cooled down just enough, but you don't wanna uh, remove a print uh, right after it's done uh, because there's possibilities of warping because the bed is still hot. But this one is cool enough and it comes right out. Let me just pull this out here. There's a little raft around it or not a raft, a brim. And here is the first test print from this printer. You can see 
you have an option to print again, but for this purpose, I'm just gonna hit return. And I'm gonna put the build plate back on. It's double-sided. This is the textured side, and this is the smooth side. So if you don't want the textured surface on the bottom, you can see over here, you do have the option to use the smooth side, and that is why they do give you that new stick. Okay, so I think I'm gonna wrap it up for this video. The next video, uh, I'm just gonna go into the software for slicing files, downloading files from places like Thingiverse. So if you wanna download some Transformers uh, accessories uh, that are for free on Thingiverse or for sale even on Cults 3D, I'm gonna do a quick video well, the next video will be all about that. Anyway, that is it. Thanks for watching.